Well, now Yagami is the official advisor to the Mystery Book Club, as well as helping out to advise the dance club. I didn't know that we were going to get so intimately involved in the students like this, but I am all for it. And now we need to continue to try to find out more things about Mikushiba at the school. Enjoy today's episode. Let's talk to these kids. Pick up some twigs on the way. Hey guys, how we all doing? Sweating it out on some layups? Uh, who are you? My name's Yagami. I've been the MRC's advisor for all of a couple minutes, and I need to ask <laughs> the basketball club a few questions. Okay. There was a student teacher who used to hang around here as recent as, what, October? Mikoshiba's the name. Oh yeah, Mikoshiba-san. Anyway, he stopped showing up out of nowhere. Any of you have any theories? Okay, scratch that. Then, what kind of teacher was he? Is he nice? Is he a jerk? I wouldn't say jerk, but he was enthusiastic. Yeah, I mean, he did show up almost daily. The club was really good back in his day. That's probably why he had us hustling even harder than the coach. So, would you say he was on good terms with you all? I guess. Wait, where's Koda and them? Oh, from class 2-2? I don't know. I haven't seen Matsu, Nakane, anyone. Ugh, those guys. They might make a scene if they see me again. Something special about Class 2-2? Well, yeah. Koda's in 2-2, and she was Mikoshiba-sensei's star pupil. Star pupil? I do know who you're talking about, by the way. Are you saying she was favored over the others? In a way, Mikoshiba-sensei worked her harder because she hadn't played basketball till high school. See, most of us already had tons of experience by the time we joined. So, anyone starting as late as now has to be really athletic to keep up with the team. Mikashiba since they knew that too. I'd say him looking after Koda did us all a favor. Wow, sounds like the model instructor. If you say so. But I'm not sure Koda felt that way. Oh? Mikashiba since they might have just thought it was tough love, but I think he went overboard with the teasing sometimes. Like, he'd make her shoot and then go, See, that was how not to do it. Are you saying he would mock her? Hmm, that makes it sound bad. He was doing it because he cared, I think? Yeah, hey, that sounds real caring. Wasn't Mikashiba sensei the one who started the whole arousing thing? The what? <laughs> he said the way she held the ball was arousing. Said it was her main contribution. That's not true. She's got a nice chest, too. That's fair. Anyway, when Mikoshiba what? sensei stopped coming, the guys in 2 2 were all like, Okay, what did Koda do to him? Are you implying they had a relationship? Beats me. Mikashiba sensei did anything like that, he would have gotten canned on the spot. Oh, that's why they call yeah, her a people slut. People like to gossip, but as they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> Maybe Koda-san's the reason he was always so fired up. <laughs> Maybe she's the reason he got fired. <laughs> the writing on her hand, it wasn't some random insult. Um, are we about done here? Last thing, where are Kodasan and the others? Are they off in this late? No, everyone's usually here by now. Uh, maybe they're still in their classroom? Okay, then I think that about does it. Back to work for the both of us, huh? So it sounds like these bullies were like maybe kind of tight with the Mikoshiba, like they they liked him, they were friends, and then they felt like Koda did something to get him fired, um, and so now she is their target. Because in their eyes, she's the reason that they lost their cool student teacher buddy, bro, or something. Maybe. And also, Mikoshiba seems to have a way of 
may even if he doesn't mean it say some unsavory things say some not nice things in a teasing way but it makes somebody feel very targeted or attacked when they're on the receiving end of of it or maybe he was just a bully uh, you know i don't know we need more information okay so we're gonna look for coda There's people in there. You're facing out on me? Look at me when I'm talking. You can't face us because you're weak. Who gave you permission to quit anyway? Newsflash, you're nothing without the club. Yeah, think about us for a second. Who has to pick up all the grunt work when you're gone? Maybe she feels special after what happened at lunch. Like people suddenly give a shit about her. Doesn't give you the right to ditch practice. Talk about selfish, am I right? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Is that all you know how to say? You think we're letting a stuck-up bitch like you give the orders? You guys still haven't learned to play fair? This fucking guy. Why's your dirty old ass still here? Attention, students! Be on the lookout for a creeper showing up in your classrooms. If I were you, I'd watch my mouth around a club advisor. Say what? Nani? I'm Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. And your chairman just hired me to advise the Mystery Research Club. Bullshit. I guess word hasn't gotten around. Maybe I'll let a few wisecracks slide for now then. But mark my words, I'll be here every day of the week. So be on your best behavior. <laughs> uh, we better get to practice. Yeah, you do that. Oh, and uh, break a leg out there, Matsu. Not very nice, are they? Are you all right? I'm fine. Kodasan, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but as I said, I'm a detective, and I need to talk about Hiro Mikoshiba. <sighs> he started training as a teacher here pretty recently, right? And one day he just stopped showing up? At the time, did you notice anything strange about him? Maybe he seemed troubled, or you saw him hanging around strangers? Why... Why are you asking me? The basketball club members think you and Mikoshiba might have been close, at least at practice. They said that? Maybe her relationship with Mikoshiba is a memory she'd rather forget. Well, I suppose there wasn't much truth to what I'd heard then. Don't sweat it. Just so you know, I'm actually going to be hanging around here at the school for a little while longer. If it's cool, I hope we can find a way to be friends. See ya. Wait a sec. Earlier today, it was your voice that I heard, wasn't it? Oh, yep. I just never expected anyone to actually stand up for me in school. But... You could say I didn't really stand up to them for myself much either. We all just treated it like it was a normal thing. Sometimes people would even laugh about it. But then, today, you guys something changed. Leave her alone. Everyone suddenly decided to take a stand like they'd seen enough. I couldn't believe it. But that first voice, the one that told them to stop, that was your voice, wasn't it, Yagami-san? <laughs> Who could say? <laughs> I knew it. It was you. Thank you so much for that. Oh, this poor thing. I feel so sad Today for her. eye-opening. I never realized... I never thought about how horribly I was being treated until everyone stood up for me. What's more, it made me see that I was strong. In fact... I 
finally stood up to the basketball kids. So you did. Is that what made you decide to quit the club? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to play basketball in a real team. I used to read this manga that made it look so cool. In a comic, Slam dunk? even if you're a terrible player, the team always tries to lift you up. I tried. I wanted it to work, even if all they did was tear me down. But today, I just up and quit. That's not cool at all, is it? You did nothing wrong, Kodosan. Truth is, there's a lot of injustice in the world that goes unseen. And some people decide it's easier to be part of the problem than be part of the solution. The kind of people who only feel joy when they see others in pain. You can only do so much to make people see the light. At some point, you've just got to let them go. You know what I mean? Then there's no shame in quitting. But Yagami-san... I think you can only say that because you're such a strong person. Hmm. Okay. In that case, we won't call it quitting. Huh? You can play. It doesn't have to be with the basketball club. If you practice, you wouldn't even need a school basketball club to get to where you want to be. If this sport is what you want to do with your life, I guarantee you there's going to be a path for you to take. And all you have to do is find that path. I mean... It's gotta be out there, and then you don't have to call it quitting. I don't oh, know about so that. Sweet. Are you sure? I mean, wouldn't that be cheating? <laughs> Come on, try to work with me here. So, the MRC, you're the advisor, Yagami-san? Yeah. If you need anything, you just let us know. Anything at all. For example, if you hit any more trouble with those basketball club kids, she you should find... join the MRC. Sure. <laughs> You've got this. Ah, uh, Yagami's a cool guy. Letter of resignation. Oh, Mr. Detective. Yagami-san, right? Hi. Yeah. Shouldn't you be at practice with everyone else? Yeah, well, remember Matsun and Sakaki? You know, the two other guys I'm always hanging around? They're ready to talk to you about Mikoshiba-sensei now. Huh. Well, Detective, I think they have a lead for you. Why am I getting a really bad hey, feeling about this? You're here on some kind of case, right? You know, Mikoshiba sensei talked to us pretty often. I think maybe we can help. This feels like a trap. That is, if you wouldn't mind starting fresh with all of us. I don't trust oh, you. Turning over a new leaf, are we? We kind of have to. How else are we going to get good college recommendations? It would really bite us in the ass if you went and narked on us, so... Will you at least hear us out? Matsun and the rest are just upstairs. Please, be a nice guy. We're really sorry. Okay, I see where this is going. How many guys are up there waiting to jump? <laughs> My me? thoughts exactly. The next floor up is for third years, right? You rope some of your senpais into this too? Wow. You don't even know us, and you're throwing out accusations like that? How are we supposed to become upstanding citizens with teachers like this? It's just not fair. She's so annoying. So, that's a pretty pathetic trap, but maybe they really can give me some info about Mikoshiba. Fine. I'll hear you out. Tell your friends I'm on my way. Really? Awesome! She's so fake. She did the whole cutesy voice thing. Please, if you would just hear us out. <laughs> Music's getting all tense, too. And all judgmenty.
Over here, Yagami-san! Sorry to drag you all the way up here for this. You wanted to talk to me? About Mikoshiba-sensei? What? I can't hear a word you're saying, man. Why don't you come closer so we don't have to shout? Yeah, let's get this over with. <laughs> He's like, I knew it. So many of you. You guys all know Mikoshiba-sensei? Nah, that's not how our senpai friends rule. They know the Yokohama Liumon. Oh. Yokohama Liumon? You mean the local gang? How scary. Oh, yeah. I've got a friend who's in deep with those guys. I scratch their back by bringing them chicks to hang out with. And they scratch mine by tipping oh. me for it. <laughs> it's a pretty sweet deal, actually. Like maybe the sugar baby. Also, we've got a little thing going. I get to drop the Liumong name if I need him to handle some business. So you sell them girls in exchange for honorary membership? You need to find better friends. Don't talk to me like you know me. I stay on their good side and I get my personal bodyguards. I work with the tools I've got to get to the top. So you got it all figured out, don't you, kid? But you're missing the big picture. They're gonna turn the table so fast you won't know what hit you. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. But I wouldn't worry about me right now. You're the one who's got the real problem on his hands. Do I? You get it? From now on, if you even lay a finger on us, you offend the Yokohama Liumon, and they'll take that personally. You see what deep shit you're in here, Yagami-san? So how about it? You know how to say you're sorry? Cash for our pain and suffering. Oh, yeah? <laughs> how much are we talking here? Grand? A mil. If you're short, I'd be happy to hook you up with a loan, Shar. I know a guy who lends for the Seiryu clan Yakuza. First it's a gang, now it's the Yakuza. Keep bringing adult shit into this. I'm going to start treating you like one. I think you already have been. You want to see what happens to gang members? I'll show you. Again. You sure for you the third do time. That? We're going to charge you extra. Oh, you got this shit down, Matsui. <laughs> Let's take this asshole down. Fuck him up. Defeat these punks again. <laughs> All right. Oh, they gave me a bunch of uh, nests to throw at them. Yagami's the best club advisor, isn't he? show you guys my dance moves. Too easy. And stay down. Ah, my eyes. Ah, my eyes. Sheep shot. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see? Woo. Got you now. No, you don't. Huh? What? Did he just jump off? Nah. He's just hiding in the dark. Like a scared little cockroach. My eyes are burning. At least my vision's finally coming back. He jumped out the window when he couldn't even barely see? He's crazy. You guys go look for him and tell me when you find him. I'm going for a smoke. Okay, sounds good. 
You got this in the bag. Uh, Senpai, what do we do? You guys follow me. <laughs> we'll all smoke together till we get an update. Sure, I'll come with. Senpai's the toughest around, and the coolest. Ah, oh, well, all for my adorable little underlings. Ay, ay, ay. I guess punks smoke at school these days, too. Thought that was a thing of the past. Anyway, Helene, I need to ask Matsui and the others about Mikushiba, so I'll catch them off guard this time. Here we are. Well, we just defeated these punks again. Oh, and we're gonna look for the basketball team again and try to get information from them. So, let's see how that goes. I feel like this game definitely has a very different vibe from not only Yakuza, but the first Judgment game as well. Okay, climb up. Up, up, up. What's this? A book? A skill book? This skill, Verge of Death, Wounded Tiger, has been unlocked. Learn how to use it from the skill app in the pause menu. You know what? We should check out our skills. It's been a while. We have 10,000 SP. Um, where's the one that we just unlocked? Is it in here somewhere? Oh, here. Maybe here. Oh, we unlocked it so that now we can spend SP to get it. Okay. It was, um, Verge of, Verge of Death something. Verge of Death Wounded Tiger. Increases attack damage in Tiger style while your health is low. Oh, well, let's get it. Why not? We got the book for it. Uh, we don't have anything for Tiger. Let's get something for Tiger. Temporarily boosts your attack power after landing a finishing blow. Activates during attacks where triangle is held. Let's get that. Then we have about 5,000 left. Can we get some... Uh, increase attack damage? Let's decrease our attack damage. That'll leave us with 3,000. We can boost our EX gauge for cheap. 600. Um, we still... Oh, we're just short of 2,500. We have 2,490. So maybe we should stop there. Oh, let's boost our health. Okay. We can, uh, we can get a couple more of these that cost 600. So let's get these two. Wall strike. Uh, gain the ability to attack after wall jumping. How do you wall jump? Just run to the wall. Break, fall, adept. Reduces damage taken when falling from high places. Uh, sure. Why not? Okay. Now we're ready to beat up some more high schoolers. Oh, yeah. I still think it's weird that we're beating up on all these miners, but... Whatever you say, game. Whatever you say. Tastes good, senpai? Smoking a cigarette in the classroom? <laughs> so you came all this way just to get your ass kicked. Why hey, do they still Akane. think? 
Go get the other set. But they can kick our ass. Okay, I'm on How it. How many times do we have to you teach them this lesson? Out. If your teacher busts you smoking, won't you get in big trouble? On the other hand, you guys could use a lesson in manners, and I'd be happy to teach you. Huh? What the hell? What the hell? Bastard! So this is where you were hiding. <laughs> now what? And that mouth of yours won't get you out of this. I'm taking you down! Are we seriously fighting again? Don't give me that smug look. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> this is getting away. <laughs> Ow. Okay, that is not cool. Okay, I don't think I can disarm him this guy. Oh, maybe I can. Oh. Uh oh. Run. Oh, damn. Are tough. I tried several times, but I didn't land any of them. <sighs> Jeez, this guy's a maniac. Have you learned your lesson yet? He's too good at this, man. Hey, you mentioned compensation for pain and suffering. <laughs> that still sound like a good idea? No, we were just being stupid. Could you maybe? Forget all that. Then from here on out, we're buds, right? Ow! Ow, my shoulder! Holy shit, that hurts, Yagami-san! Tell me everything you know about Mikoshiba. After all, you guys were pretty close, right? Jeez. Yagami, we're going a little bit far, aren't we? Mikoshiba sensei showed up to practice, like, basically every day. Kind of a pain in the ass, if I'm being honest. As soon as our coach would leave, it's like a switch would flip and he'd start drilling us. He'd make us do, like, ten sets of cross-court dashes. And if even one of us lagged behind, it meant ten more for all of us. That made it obvious real quick. Koda was our weakest link. So Mikoshiba was especially harsh on her then. Yeah, because she's such a freaking klutz. Even the first years got sick of her eventually. <laughs> Only thing she did right was unite the team against her. You gang up and belittle a single defenseless girl, a beginner in your sport, and you call that unity. Real classy. Listen up. Mikoshiba's parents have reported him missing. Foul play could be in the works here. He's been gone for far too long. Hey, you think maybe Koda did it? Some kind of crime of passion? <laughs> this isn't the time for bullshit. Or you want to keep going? Uh, nope. I'll pass. Have you talked to Sawa sensei yet? He probably knows Mikashiba sensei better than anyone. All she told me was how exemplary he was, both as a student and a student teacher. And that he looked out for you guys, out of some sort of camaraderie. Huh? She really talked him up that good? Why, something off about that? Uh, it's just... Sawa-sensei was really cold to him, no matter what he'd do. I actually brought that up to him one day. And it turns out the rumors were right. Rumors? 
Back when Mikoshiba Sensei was a student, one of his classmates apparently committed suicide. And Sawa Sensei suspected him of bullying the kid. I don't think he ever really got past that. He'd get all depressed sometimes. Really? Sawa Sensei thought Mikoshiba was a bully? Oh, yeah. I actually asked him about it once, but he just laughed it off. This isn't enough to prove Mikoshiba was a bully, but Sawa Sensei did seem less convincing, less than convincing with me. I teach English, and that's what I was focused on. So, as far as I knew, Mikoshiba kun was a good student with solid grades back then. And during his time in training, I was under the impression he got along with the students just fine. What did she really think about Mikoshiba? I'll have to press her on it. Yeah, she's telling two different stories here. Look for Sawa Sensei. Alrighty, let's keep it rolling. She is not going to be happy to see us, but she also can't tell us to leave because we are an advisor. I don't know if I'm on the right floor. <laughs> oh, I am. Okay. She's not at her desk. Hi there. Has Sawa Sensei gone home? Actually, she's in a meeting with the chairman. So then she's at his office? Yes, but I think they may have some visitors. Gotcha. Thanks. A visitor for Sawa Sensei. Maybe she'll be busy for a good while. There is that photo I wanted to peek at earlier. This may not be my finest hour, but it could still make for a useful clue. The Sawa Sensei had suspected Mikoshiba was a bully. Maybe she wasn't being honest with me before. Hmm. Hey. All I can see is there's a kid with glasses. Looks like a photo of Sawa Sensei's high school days. Her uniform is different from what they wear here, but he has the Sadio High uniform. The guy in the back that we can't see. I think. I can see part of a photo of a male Sadio High student. I'm sorry to do this, but. seen this face before. At least it's not Hiro Mikoshiba. Is that Ihara's son? The boy who killed himself four years ago? Odd for a teacher to have a picture of a single random student on her desk. That couldn't be her son, could it? Like she's the estranged wife of Ahara? But no one ever mentioned her being the mom of this, this student, so that would have come up. I can't confirm his identity right now, though I should look for Sawa Sensei. She should be in the chairman's office. Okay. All right. Pardon. 
Uh, Yagami-san. Those men are with the Kanagawa police. They said they're here to make inquiries about Mikoshiba-kun's disappearance. And they asked to see Sawa-sensei too? Yes. But I have to ask, can you tell me what's really going on? You're gonna find out you soon enough. You were asking questions about Mikoshiba-kun as well. I should leave it to the police to fill you in on that. I mean, their sources are probably more recent than mine. They should have the latest details. Mikashiba-kun is... no longer with us, is he? Then it's just as I feared. Don't be dogging me like that. Oh, we finished another chapter. Chapter three, two sides of the same coin. Two months ago, a young man named Hiro Mikashiba went missing during his stint as a student teacher. Mikashiba quickly becomes the center of attention when his rotting corpse is discovered. And Yagami scours the school for any clues left behind. Rumor has it, Mikashiba drove a classmate to suicide in his student days. A rumor that the school faculty is seemingly unable to deny. Chapter 3 This article might be about Mikushiba, but it's not reporting the identity of the corpse. Does that mean the police are still withholding information? Their interview with Sawa Sensei seems, seems to be taking an awful long time. Yagami san, why are you still here? Because I care. Now, if you're open to the idea, you think we could walk and talk? Why? So you can grill me with more questions? You realize the police just finished doing that, yes? I figured they'd come knocking sooner or later. Then you knew Mikoshiba-kun was murdered, didn't you? And that's why you've been snooping around our school. You're not wrong, but can we please take this elsewhere? <sighs> this poor lady. <laughs> Yagami's very persistent. If you knew Mikoshiba was murdered, why didn't you tell me up front? Because that information's not public. Didn't the police ask you to keep quiet about it? Well, yes, but even so... What sort of questions were they asking you anyway? I thought I was supposed to keep quiet. Cute. Now I'm going to ask you one last time. Please stay off our campus. You don't belong here. Actually, I mean, what if you end up injuring a student? It would be a nightmare for all of us. Nobody's getting injured. All that's water under the bridge now. Is that so? Yeah, and I should probably mention, I'm the new advisor of the Mystery Research Club. I have the chairman's approval and everything. So it looks like I have a place here after all. What? Since when? I think we're getting sidetracked here. Did the police ever mention a suspect? No. All they told me was what happened to Mikoshiba-kun. That he's no longer a missing person. That he's dead. And was dumped in a derelict building. My condolences. That was all we found out. The police were the ones asking the questions, not us. They hardly gave us room to breathe. Yeah, sounds like an interrogation, all right. Are the police keeping Ahara's connection under wraps while they investigate this murder? Is there anything else? Actually, there is. I'd like to know your thoughts on Mikoshiba-kun's killer. What? 
For example, take Akihiro Ehara, a man who took this school to court over his son's suicide. Mikoshiba came up even then, as a culprit bearing some responsibility for that. Ehara-san? But he got arrested for that groping incident at the train station. So the police really are keeping their lips sealed. Must you always be so cryptic? It's possible Ehara-san had a hand in Mikoshiba's murder. What? Despite being incarcerated for two months, he knew exactly where the corpse would be. He revealed it upon being sentenced. This was before the Kanagawa police had even ID'd the body. Then... was it really Ehara-san? A court would say being in jail is about as solid an alibi as you can get, but he could be connected somehow. How do you know all this, Yagami-san? I'd tell you, but I showed you one of my cards, so now it's your turn. Uh... Huh? I've heard you weren't as big a fan of Mikoshiba as you led me to believe. That true? <sighs> this again. You knew he was a bully all along, but yesterday you told me he wasn't the type. I just want to get the story straight here. <sighs> Did you have a sudden change of heart, or were you lying to me for some reason? It's not that simple. Oh, one more thing I learned today. It was Mikoshiba who turned the basketball club against Kodasan. Pretty sadistic for a would-be teacher, don't you think? That's enough. Then it's not a stretch to say he probably was a major factor in the death of Ahara's son four years ago? And I think it's also safe to assume you know more than you're letting on, right? This is murder we're talking about here. Lies aren't doing anyone any favors. <sighs> His name was Toshiro. Sorry? Everyone keeps saying Ahara's son. Like he's just another statistic. He had a name for heaven's sake. Toshiro. Right. I'm sorry. Now if you'll excuse me, I have papers to grade. Zawa-sensei, please. Nine o'clock tonight. I'll be at Plage on Izazaki Road. We'll finally have a real talk? Something like that. Real talk. Is slowly coming into focus. This story, but seeing as we're only in chapter three, <laughs> this is still just the tip of the iceberg. But we're learning a little bit here and there. The picture is slowly coming into focus. Kaito-san, so I just left the school and tonight I'm... Wait, where are you? <laughs> Third stop of our bar crawl, that's where. I thought work was done for the night. Licking the wounds of rejection, huh? Is the 99 gang with you? Just Sugiura. Tsukumo said he had to get back to the office to take care of some kind of system trouble. Computer crash or something? I don't know. Something about a buzzy searcher going haywire. I pretty much tuned it out, man. Anyway, you gotta come take his place? Nah, I gotta stay sober. I'm meeting Sawa-sensei in a bit. You what? God damn it, man. You are killing me today. <laughs> Kaito. Would you simmer down? This is work, not whatever it is you're doing. Oh, then I ought to come be your backup. Where are we uh, next? Come on, think I need a drunk co-pilot? Yeah. Knock one back for me then. I don't think that's hey, a good idea. I better not find out you two got it on. Don't do this to me, Tak. <laughs> what is up with Kaito, man? I still have plenty of time before our meetup. Maybe I should drop by Sukumo's place. Okay, is this the moment? Let's look at our map. Okay, I don't see anything that looks like a sub story yet. Head to Yokohama 99. I've still got plenty of time before I meet with Sawa Sensei. Maybe I should ought to check in at Yokohama 99 beforehand. Oh, yes. Okay, so Sawa Sensei said she would, she would meet us and talk to us, but that's not until later this evening. Yagamishi, how was school? Kaito-san wasn't happy about you going solo, you know. Eh, he'll live. 
He can cry about it to Sugiura. So he does. Anyway, I couldn't help but notice Skenda Law bending your ear earlier. Anything important? Right. I haven't filled you in yet, have I? So a policeman arrested for sexual battery might have actually been involved in a murder? Fascinating, if not perplexing. Yeah, and its roots could very well be Serio High School, where a student was driven to suicide four years ago. In fact, the motive for this murder may even be revenge. Tsukumo, could you find any mention of that suicide online for me? <laughs> Already done, I'm afraid. Once the chairman asked us to take his case, I looked into everything on the school I could find. If memory serves, he was a third-year student who hung himself at home. The name of the deceased, Toshiro Ehara. Yeah, that's him. So, while I did find some murmurings about it online, nothing really substantial ever surfaced. He didn't leave a suicide note or a will, and investigators never found anything salient. So, I was right before. Yep, the same picture. No mistaking it, that's the same person as the photo on Sawa Sensei's desk. His father, however, suspected there may have been a bully and promptly took Seirio to court. But without enough evidence to back it up, the system more or less spit him out. Even so, the lawsuit dragged on until this year. But that level of news hardly makes a ripple online. Yeah, I doubt it would. And that's all the intel I've dug up regarding the case. Huh? <laughs> What's that sound? I'm testing a system I've been tinkering with. Thought I'd fixed this bug already. A system for what? Well, it predicts the occurrence of crimes. It predicts crime? No way. <laughs> Perhaps that was a bit of hyperbole. But it does come pretty close. Essentially, this system is designed to monitor and detect danger zones within a specific area. The city itself, to be exact. That still sounds pretty amazing. If you say so. I basically cobbled it together out of pre-existing tech. Yagamishi. Do you remember when I used my chatter search program for you not too long ago? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was a real trip. I pretty much hacked chatter to see an entire social network at a glance. Yep, and this system I've developed is a souped up version of that. Though there are substantial differences, the principle is still... Uh, how about you just try it out? We'll start with this little window. It displays all relevant chatter posts after filtering the fluff. And these posts are all pinpointed on this map of Ijincho? Right. It maps out where in Ijincho each specific post was made. Arachnid so my AI main? constantly combs through Chatter's database as it updates in real time. Then it extracts only the trouble-related chatter for display on the map. So it actively seeks out trouble? That's wild that you can program around such a vague concept. Well, in its current iteration, the AI isn't exactly genius material yet, so it still pings some false positives. There's something else, Tsukumo. What are you going to use it for? I'd like to use it for promotional purposes. Like advertising? Yeah. Since we're still relatively new in town, we don't have the kind of rep that brings in regular business. Oh, uh, okay. And that is where my buzz researcher comes into play. Buzz researcher? Consider the glut of trends and terms strewn across social media. These buzzwords are sometimes clues to trouble beneath the surface. So, when the system picks up one of these words and we rush over to save the day, the hope is our reputation will flourish as a result. Damn, that's some pretty intense marketing you've got going. Well, we probably won't be paid for impromptu cases, so this is sort of an upfront investment. But directly intervening before a situation gets out of hand will build us the brand we want. At least in theory. I'm not sure how it'll all pan out yet. Well, I think you've got something there, Tsukumo. Mind if I give it a shot? I thought you'd never ask. Though the system's got a long way to go by my standards. But with you as a tester, I know I'll get strong enough feedback to have this baby running in top form. <laughs> so you wanted me as your guinea pig all along. <laughs> you sure cracked that case quick. That's what Anywho, I do. I'm a detective. Let me get this app booted up on your phone. May I do the honors? Go right ahead. And that should do it. Here you are. Okay, let's see here. 
Um, this is just a big mess. How am I supposed to know where to go? Hmm, this is indeed too much noise. In fact, this is entropy in motion. This won't do it all. To solve this, we narrow down the keywords. In other words, simplify our search? Yeah, by manually filtering keywords, we can decrease false positives, thereby locating the right spot more accurately. Well, how do we do that? Does the AI do it for us? No, not entirely. What the AI does is pick up on any keywords it deems important. Emphasis here on the word any. Meaning it'll turn out duds every now and again. Yeah, that's still pretty busy. I want to see a man. And therein man. lies the predicament. To narrow these results down any further, we must depend on instincts, experience, and even inspiration. So you're saying human intuition? <laughs> Precisely. Even in this day and age, human intuition will trump AI every time. That is, until we all become cyborgs. Oh boy. But that's getting ahead of myself. As it stands, Yagamishi, you've got the best intuition out of all of us. Well, let's just start with a post that smells like trouble. How about this one? I can smell the trouble brewing yes, already. Yes, arachnid oh, man. He climbs on the walls of buildings. Let's filter our results around that specific term. And there you have it. See, go over there's here. a concentration of suspicious keyword usage on this street here. As to what sort of trouble is brewing, you'll have to rely on your good old-fashioned eyeballs. Shady activity isn't always the easiest to spot, so maybe think of it as a sort of treasure hunt. A treasure hunt for trouble, huh? Does sound right up my alley. <laughs> Doesn't it? I can already picture you out there, helping people in need until it all pays off. What could await you at the end of the trail? My heart rate is already spiking. I'm just glad to have a helpful app for once. You know what? That reminds me. I also have a gadget here you may find useful. Can't always be glued to your phone, right? What is this? It's a high-end sound collector. It boosts the volume of mid-distance sounds, making them easier to hear from farther away. It looks like a gun. A sound collector, huh? I could use this from to far pick away. up cries for help, or even eavesdrop all over town. That's the idea. With enhanced hearing and geolocation capabilities, you'll be a trouble terminator. Trouble terminator. <laughs> Just like I've always wanted. Now, I do have some other gadgets in the works, but I'm still fine-tuning their UI. I'll show you soon enough. Looking forward to that. Okay, use gadgets to find Arachnid Man. Arachnid Man, Arachnid Man. Does whatever an arachnid can. Climbs the walls of the buildings in the streets of Eugene Show. Look out! Here comes Arachnid Man. Uh, what's up, Shamurai and Huanka? Shamurai, you're in New Hampshire. What are you doing there? That's where my dad is from originally. I have a book, a, a book with pictures of New Hampshire in it. Okay, so let's see. I want to go to gadgets. Noise amp, wait. Buzz researcher. Look at post, no, search by keyword arachnid man. Okay. There they are. They're north of us. Arachnid man, a guy who enjoys the thrill of climbing, climbing buildings, but who is he really? Let's see if we can't find out. Find a deem. I am having a pretty good night. How about your night? How's it going? Hi, David. Just skateboarding 
down the streets of Ijincho. <laughs> Big deal. Chatter about hearing arachnid man's groans are around here, I think. I just need to figure out what's up with the groans coming from above. Looks like the gadget Sukumo gave me will come in handy. I see him. I see him. Can hear it. I'm gonna fall. Oh, what the? It came from somewhere above me, huh? What's that? Is is that a person? It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a arachnid man. Yip! I'm about to fall. I can't hold on. Not good. I need to help him now. I get to climb. Uh, couldn't remember how to climb. What? I can't. Stop going up. Let me try again. Up. Up. Oh, because the pole is bent, probably. Up, up. Up some more. Up some more. Keep going, Yagami. Ah, I can't make Excuse it. Me. Hey, you okay? Huh? Who are you? Why are you here? I saw you from below. I came to help you. I... I'm saved! How did I ever let my hand slip? Wow, thank you so much. Come on, what's all the commotion? Hey! What's going on? Please. Oh, are you a resident here? This guy's about to fall! Where... Hey, are you single? What are you doing later tonight? <laughs> the guy just falls. <laughs> are you a resident here? Listen, could you call for help? Don't tell me. You're the arachnid man? Wait, but there are two of you? Oh no, I'm gonna fall. Excuse me. Uh, it's a bit dangerous out here. So would you mind if we come inside? Uh, sure. Phew, that was close. Thanks for letting us in, ma'am. What the hell? Why were you two out there so high up? It's Yagami. I'm Takayuki Yagami, a detective. A detective? Yep. Yes. You see, as I was walking along, I saw this person was about to fall and... Okay. <laughs> My apologies for causing a scene. My name is Shintaro. Shinataro. Tamai. And I'm Yutori Okachimachi. By the way. Well, Tamai-san, what in the world were you doing out there? <gasps> oh, uh, well, uh, that would be... Actually, I was birdwatching on the roof, and I just took a wrong step. Hmm? You were birdwatching? Aw. Yeah, because the thing is, I heard there was a rare bird living around here. A rare bird, huh? Which one would that be? Um, well, uh, a swallow? Huh? A swallow? Ah! Uh, ha, 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 
so you think swallows are common? Well, how have you know? It's a white one that spawned from a spontaneous mutation. I found someone talking about it on social media, so I came here right away. The arachnid man does bird watching? Something's off about this. What should I ask? Are you resident of the apartment building? Swallows shouldn't be here in this season. You think you'd think you didn't think to get some help from the residents. Let's ask about the bird. Swallows shouldn't be here. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Swallows are migratory birds. Shouldn't they be overseas right now to pass the winter? <gasps> huh? Granted, this is from the internet, but the swallows who pass the winter in Japan are usually in the western regions. Seems like they'd be pretty rare here in the Kanto region. Y yes, uh, that's right. They're very rare here, which is exactly why I wanted to see one. Uh. Okay, I see. Are you a resident of this apartment building? Are you a resident of this apartment building? You're not, are you? Just a minute ago, you said someone was talking about this bird on social media, so you ran over there. Oh, ha ha ha. Very impressive, Mr. Detective. You're a sharp one. This apartment has an auto lock. So how did you get in? Oh, well, that's... And the door to the roof is locked most of the time. And yet you managed to get up there? Ah, uh, well... That's because I did the same as you, Mr. Detective. I climbed up the wall of the apartment. Mm -hmm. You climbed up just to do some bird watching? Yeah, I love birds so much. So that arachnid man everyone's talking about, is that you? Yes, it does seem there are a lot of rumors about me. I just want to bird watch from high places, but none of the buildings in the city allow non-residents inside. So I've been climbing the walls recently. The so-called arachnid man was just a nerdy bird lover. It still doesn't make any sense. Pretty suspicious. He's super sus. You didn't think to get help from the residents? You didn't think to yell and get help from the residents inside? <laughs> what? Yeah, I guess I could have done that. I didn't think of that. <laughs> Pretty suspicious. Even though this is fishy as hell, it's not like I have any evidence. If I don't have any evidence, I should back down. But at times like these, it sometimes helps to just observe. Observation mode. Oh, those boots are pretty suspicious. I don't know. Those boots are pretty suspicious. What the hell am I looking for exactly? Any cats around here? Observe Tamai carefully. should read is another panty snatcher look how how what percent of the population of japan are panty sniffers because yakuza makes me think that it's a pretty high freaking percent what the? of panty sniffers huh what's this based on the shape that's women's underwear that means Could I ask you something? Hmm? Hmm? Was there something else, Mr. Detective? What's that in your back pocket there? <gasps> uh, well, that's... <sighs> this is, uh... I know what they are. Those are panties. <gasps> Ew! Th those... Are they hers? Uh... Could... Could these be yours? Okachimachi-san? That is a very uncomfortable question. Some stranger that you just met and he's holding up your very private, very intimate 
intimates. <laughs> Are these yours? I knew some of my best panties had gone missing. I see. So it appears you fell when you were stealing panties. <sighs> anyway, I'm calling the police. You, you asshole. Not so fast. I'm going to be the next Professor Panty, and I won't be caught here by the likes of you. No way. Fine, no choice but to use force then. I remember the Panty the Professor. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> Not happy about that fact. But it's a fact of life. Wait, taunt again? Oh, there it is. Ugh, damn it. But I was going to be the next Professor Panty. I know all about Professor Panty. I caught him. I caught him myself. What? What? You took him down? Even when I had him cornered, that pervert didn't even try to hide his creepiness. In fact, he was proud. He even brandished the damn panties at me, asking if I wanted to partake of the banquet with him. He... He was brave to the end. Honestly, you pale in comparison to Professor Panty. You'll never measure up to him. Ugh. Uh, come on, let's go. <laughs> Straight to jail with ya. Excuse me, thank you for getting that panty thief. No. Oh, I'm just happy to help. You said you were a detective, right? Yep. Yes, I typically work around Kamurocho, but lately I've been taking on work around Ijincho too. I'm currently working out of a detective agency called Yokohama 99. Feel free to contact me if you're ever in trouble, okay? <laughs> so you're going around helping people while also promoting your business. Smart. I get it. Well, next time there's someone I know in trouble, I'll make sure they're fi they find their way back to Please. you. Great. Thanks. <sighs> Another case closed for now. Another panty thief case, no less. Wonderful. Keeping the streets of Ijincho safe, taking down one panty thief at a time. Yagamishi, how was your first outing? I caught a panty Not bad. thief. I handled the problem and name dropped you guys, so all in a day's work. <laughs> awesome! Sounds like the system's working gangbusters. By the way, if you'd like a little pro tip, you can enter keywords on your own, independent of any post. Why would I do that? Say you pick up a rumor in town, or hear someone drop a dubious phrase. Putting that into our keyword database will help refine the results algorithm. And thus, the program becomes more effective. In layman's terms, the more you enter new data, the more my program can learn. Gotcha. So this thing can hone its street smarts along with me. Correct. Do make use of the system often, if you could. Acquiring keywords. Keywords used in the keyword filter can be acquired from conversations with people in the chitty <laughs> city and chatter posts. On discovering a keyword, keyword acquired will pop up. Try opening a bu buzz researcher and using the keyword filter. Trouble may be brewing as you read this. I know this is a lot, but one last thing. We've also got a bulletin board for case requests. A good number of them are somewhat beyond our current capacity. So if you ever feel like it, maybe you can pick them up. Hey, never hurts to have more income. I'll take a look sometime. We do need money for dance outfits, so... A detective's bread and butter. Side cases earn you money, SP, and items. In exchange for investigating someone's problem, you can now accept new side cases by checking the bulletin boards at the Yagami Detective Agency and Yokohama 99. 
New side quests may also open up unexpectedly as you explore the city. 